Can you answer this question about standard error of the mean? For this problem, you'll have to calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard error for each group of data. Then I'll show you what that looks like on a graph. So here are two groups of data. You have group A and group B. You can see in group A, there's only six data points, but in group B, there are 16. Remember that standard error of the mean is a measure of how much a sample is likely to vary from the true population mean. And this is the equation we use to calculate standard error of the mean. After calculating the standard error of the mean, we'll place error bars on a graph to help us show the certainty or the variation within that data. So back to our data here, I'm not actually gonna go through how you calculate the mean and the standard deviation because I've done that in other videos. What I will show you is how to calculate the standard error using this information. So you can see group A, we have a standard deviation of 7.6 for the data, and we're gonna divide it by the square root of N, which is the number of data points. And if you remember, group A only had six data points. So what we do is we take 7.6 divided by 2.449, and we're gonna get 3.1 as our standard error of the mean for group A. For group B, we do the same method. However, the standard deviation there was 10.5 and our number of data points was 16. So we take 10.5 divided by four and we get a standard error of the mean of 2.6. So that means for group A and group B, we have a mean of 86 and 88 and we have a standard error of 3.1 and 2.6. So what do we do with this information? Well, you can see here, I have a bar graph with the averages of A and B graphed out. What we have to do is we have to place error bars or these bar headed lines on each graph using the right standard error of the mean. For group A, we use a standard error of 6.2 since we're going up two standard errors, both in the positive and negative direction. We do the same thing for group B's data, which is 5.2. You can see we're going in the positive and the negative direction. Now let's answer this question. Is there a significant difference between the two groups data? Explain how you came to this answer. Since the error bars here overlap, that means the data is not significant from each other. Basically what these error bars show us is on any given day, where could this average really be? Since the error bars overlap, it really doesn't show significant difference between these two groups of data. If the error bars didn't overlap, then you could say the data is significant from each other.